are saying. Mm. Have you seen the full video? I've not gather, gathered the courage to watch the full video. Mm. Um, because the small that I watched, I knew that that is not my husband. The way he's talking is not my husband. Something might have gone wrong. So I have not had the courage to watch the full video. Something like what? Alcohol. I don't know what they did to him. My husband is a very skeptical person. I mean, you don't just get him to follow you or do things like that. You're very skeptical. He doesn't, he doesn't follow people like that. So incantations, juju, medicine? Uh, yeah. I see. Did he tell you that he had received money on the second visit? Yes, he told me. Did he tell you how much it was? Yes, he did. How much did he say? $40,000. So he told you this before, Even the, before the alarm? Even the, before the, the, the thing came out. That he had received $40,000? Yes. I see. And he told you what it was for? Yes, for reimbursement of his tickets. That's what he was told? Yes. That was the agreement they had. I wasn't there. So that's what my husband told me. That was the agreement they had. Come, we'll pay um, and later we'll refund your money for you. So he did the travel three times. So when the money was given to him, he accepted the money with the mindset or with the belief or with the knowledge that this is a refund for my expenses. Wow. Hmm. Did he seek uh, other interventions like religion? Because we know he had converted to Islam recently. <laughs> this happened in Dubai. It involved the sheikh. So obviously, religion will play a role. Did he seek intervention of religious authorities? I don't want to mention this, but he tried his best to, to not to prevent them from showing, but to find out from them why. I mean, his, 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 his worry and his bo the bother is why, what, what, what was the motive? So he tried to find out from people, why did they do that? So he's wondering whether have I done something to anybody? A body have for, I you messed know. anybody up yes. for them to want and to do this? It's, yes, the motive for somebody planning, plotting, strategizing, and executing this just to make sure um, he is disgraced. So that has been his pain, and that has been his worry. He doesn't mind at all whatever has happened. He has taken that in good faith. But each day, he asks, why? Why? Why did I do wrong? If they wanted me out, they could have found another way, you know. But for that scheming to that extent, you know, Paul, let me, I mean, we are all human beings. The conversations that we have, you know. Every day. Every day. Mm -hmm. I mean, amongst us as friends, as associates, as business partners, if those conversations <laughs> are taken out, all of us will be in trouble. Because when we meet, you know, that human beings, the sociologists will tell you that human beings are complex yeah. beings. As soon as a light is thrown on you, your behavior, your demeanor, your gestures change. Do you hear me? Yeah, do you, do you understand? Okay, so you talk to somebody knowing that there's nobody, you know, else. There are no cameras, there is nobody on, uh, watching you. And then all of a sudden, everything is in the open. If you had known, I'm sure, that things that he said or he did, he wouldn't have done them mm -hmm. so that is the pain that he has that you come to me deceive me and then I follow you for you to do this to me but well um, he's he's okay with it he has learned a lot of lessons even though very bitterly 